Fortisi forges forward with a new name change to SDS2 Fortisi. The product remains a freestanding load planning solution, but with the name change, people will become aware of a whole suite of effective solutions. Due to this change, existing clients that have modified their tooltip will have to open loadable properties and add back all the SDS2 Fortisi tooltips. Eye strain is a common issue that reduces your productivity. So we now allow a background change between dark gray and light gray mode. A number of quality of life enhancements have been added to this release as we continue to work on our bounded constructed bundles. You can direct SDS2 Fortisi to always use the same measurement system as your Microsoft Windows workstation does. The unit's preference that you choose will be remembered for future SDS2 Fortisi sessions. Dunnage zones can be made transparent so that you can see the loadables beneath each layer, allowing you to easily inspect for any voids in the trailer load. Lowercase t is your shortcut key. In the loading view, the preset plan view now orients the trailer horizontally rather than vertically. This is consistent with the trailer orientation when you add a dunnage zone. The trailer capacity used by loadables and the remaining available trailer height is displayed in the loads list next to the load's name using the preferred unit setting. The distance is measured from the highest point of the loadables. Until measuring tool is added, this will give you an idea of the remaining space. When you create multiple loads during an SDS2 Fortisi session, the load parameters window is populated with the trailer and parameter settings that you last entered. One of the most productive enhancements is in the loading view. Loadables that you select from the staging list now appear directly above the isolated dunnage zones on which they will be placed. We continue to improve Fortisi to make your loading experience even more enjoyable, enhancing your experience and reducing risk.